This is Hawaii News Now. First at four. First set for a cluster of thunderstorms southeast of the islands has prompted our team to declare first alert weather days for Saturday and Sunday. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Robbins joins us with more on how a developing tropical cyclone is expected to impact parts of the state. Jen. And Ash, it's a very complicated forecast. We're tracking two areas of concern. You can see it loud and clear on the satellite here. It's not organized, but once it becomes organized, that's when a tropical cyclone is born. So we are going to be watching this area about 1,100 to 1,200 miles to our southeast. And you see closest to Hawaii Island. Since it's close proximity to the Central Pacific Basin, it doesn't take a whole lot for it to travel close to the island. So that amount of time has shortened. Let's take a closer look. Look at the tropical outlook here and it highly depends on where it develops which name it will get but it looks like this will be Hector that potentially could be next in line here first alert weather days next Saturday into Sunday you see the track there some of the deep tropical moisture will start ahead of the system itself by Friday into Saturday and that could prompt some flooding so I wouldn't be surprised if this holds true that maybe a flood watch would be prompted for Hawaii Island by the time we get into the weekend and you can see the center of the system is well south of the islands according to this one weather model but there's still a lot of uncertainty. Well, there is room for the forecast to change. Uh, the, the primary threat with tropical cyclones in general is flooding uh, so that's that will almost definitely be uh, priority number one uh, threat number one if it does encroach on the Hawaiian Islands or make landfall somewhere in the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, other than that, it's, it's early to get into specifics. But we are going to be talking about rain and waves, and it looks like the closest approach will be over Hawaii Island, and that's why that first alert weather day is up for Saturday and the Sunday. For the rest of us, it highly depends on the track of the system. It appears to be well south of us next Monday into Tuesday, but keep it tuned here, your first alert team. A lot can change from then to now. Thank you, Jen. And now is a good time to download our Hawaii News Now weather app. You can see the live weather radar and receive weather alerts. It's free to download in the App Store. Thanks so much. A very busy week that we're approaching with first alert weather days, and that will be coming our way Saturday into Sunday. We're watching two areas of concern, and that's over close to the Central Pacific on the edge of the Eastern Pacific. And because it fits close proximity to the Central Pacific, it doesn't have a whole lot of distance to travel to get to the islands if it does develop. And it looks very likely by the time we get into midweek. And you can see it doesn't look like much on the satellite image, but it needs that organization as we take a closer look. We have low wind shear right now in that area, so a favorable environment for those cumulonimbus clouds. And these are thunderstorms that are forming. It's fueled by very warm waters, 80 degrees or more, and that gives it supple energy to form. And once it becomes organized and there's circulation, and you can see a little bit more of a center of the system, that's when a tropical cyclone is born. And that's what we're expecting out of that area in days ahead. So it looks like it could be a a tropical depression or a tropical storm or even a very low grade hurricane when it does develop in days ahead and then it churns just to our southeast. How close will it get is the big question for us, but it appears that most of the weather models has it well south of the islands. Here we are on Saturday and Sunday. You see its closest approach to Hawaii Island. Some of the outer bands reaching Hawaii Island and that's why flooding could be a possibility. Also windy conditions and surf for all of us. Us. And it appears that it's going to be bringing most of the heaviest of the showers over open waters. Let's take a closer look at another weather model here. Here's the wave watch model. You can see the systems that are over the eastern Pacific that are developing as well. And we will be seeing this one bring on some of that swell energy as early as Friday into the weekend and then some more energy just north of the state by the time we get into the weekend as well. So a lot happening over the eastern Pacific, not uh, quite hurricane season anymore. So you should be prepared. Now is the time to talk to your family, especially if you're located on Hawaii Island about a plan if it does shift more towards the north. On west facing shores, four to six, six to eight on south facing shores. First alert weather day is for Saturday and Sunday. The possibility of rain, waves and winds and we'll see that come our way next Monday into Tuesday just south of the rest of us. So keep it tuned here. Your first alert team. We have a lot of elements in our seven day forecast. Very busy, especially by the weekend.